like, what? 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 Popping. All right? One time, one time. What's good, my peoples? Welcome. It's your girl, Nicole. And today, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my favorite deep conditioners. These three are legit my absolute favorite. Like, this video is not sponsored. These are just items that I love to use. They're amazing for my hair, and I have low porosity hair. So before we get into that, let's talk about hair porosity. If you wanted to find out what your hair porosity was, you can just take a glass of water and use some clean strands of hair, put it into the water five minutes later after about five to ten minutes if you notice your hair start to sink to the bottom you have high porosity hair high porosity hair means that your hair easily absorbs different products oils um, water things like that however high porosity hair also means that it's hard for you to maintain moisture then if your hair actually stays floating at the top of that glass you have low porosity hair and so that's what I have this typically means that your hair doesn't absorb moisture easily so it takes a lot like I know for me it takes a lot for me to actually get my hair to like be drenched. The upside with this is that your hair retains moisture very well. So you have high porosity hair where your hair doesn't retain moisture very well, but it does absorb products very well. You have low porosity hair where your hair actually doesn't absorb waters and moisturizers and things like that very well. However, you do maintain moisture. And then if you have results where your hair is just kind of like floating, it's not at the bottom, but it's not at the top either, you pretty much have medium or normal porosity hair. And all I have to say is if you have that, what is it like being God's favorite? Because basically you don't have any of those absorption issues. You don't have any moisture retention issues. You have none of those issues that us low porosity or high porosity people have. So with that being said, these products that I use are for low porosity hair. So number one, my favorite deep conditioner is Eva NYC. Yes, y'all can see that. Eva NYC. I love, 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 love this deep conditioner. Y'all see my cat? It was at this moment she knew she messed up. Like my hair comes out smooth, soft, like... It has like this little hint of vanilla type smell. Like this is my favorite. This is my favorite. It's a little expensive. It's like $15 almost for this jar. Oh, when I tell you, this is my favorite. Now, if you are into like the ingredients and all that different stuff and, you know, making sure that you put in stuff on your hair, that's very healthy. But I don't really see anything super crazy in the ingredients, but... You know, you can take a look for yourself, you know, make the decision. Let's see. The top says therapy session hair mask with plant protein and argan oil. Deeply conditions, hydrates, and smooths for all hair types. Y'all, this stuff is the truth. The truth. And I'm telling you, this is not, again, this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. But this stuff right here, this, where is it? This stuff, this stuff right here is amazing my second favorite i actually just discovered it's new it's from dove okay so it's a dove recovery mask for coils and curls they have a whole new line i haven't tried any of their stuff but this and this stuff is amazing now if you don't like really heavy smells or um things like that then you might not want to get this because the smell it's, it literally smells like perfume and i washed my hair probably about a week ago and i can still smell this mask like who is so amazing i'm gonna actually show y'all like how this actually works on my hair when i tell you my curls was popping like right after i washed my hair like they were popping like what 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 popping all right Let's see, it also says on the back of it, it says no parabens, no dyes, color safe. Um, and then the directions, of course, is on the back of it. Leave it on your hair three to five minutes. I think I kept mine in for like an hour or two because I was doing other stuff. But this is also really cheap. This was like less than $6. It was like $5 and some change. I picked it up at Walmart. This stuff is a. <laughs> this right here. But I'm telling you, if you don't like harsh smells, don't get this because 
I'm t I can smell it right now. Like as I'm sitting here, I can smell it right now. It's really like it's a really strong smell, but it's amazing. All right, so my third one, my third one ran out, so I don't have the jar to show you, but I'll put it right here or right here. I'll put it right here. So this is the protein treatment by Miel. You can't use this every week. So I use this probably about twice a month, maybe every other week. Don't quote me, I'm not a professional. But this is the only protein treatment I really use. It's not that expensive. Afterwards, your hair just feels so soft and just so amazing. I love that. It's also black owned, but these three are my absolute favorite deep conditioners, hair mask, whatever you want to call it. I use the Eva NYC and the Dove interchangeably, and then I'll use the protein treatment every two weeks. But let me know what you guys think. If you have low porosity hair as well, go ahead and leave in the comments what you actually use, what works for you. And if you have high porosity hair and you try these, let me know how those actually work out for you also. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so very much. And thanks, you guys. Go down.